Capiz, Kapanan, Kapor and Nong Capiz, Hiligaynon, Kapor and Sang Capiz, Filipino, Liliwigan ng Capiz, is a province located in the region of Western Visayas in the central section of the Philippines. Its capital is the city of Roxas and is located at the northeastern portion of Panay Island, bordering Aklan to the north, Antique to the west, and Iloilo to the south. Capiz faces the Sibuyan Sea to the north. Capiz is known for the Placuna Placenta oyster shell that has the same name locally and is used for decoration and making lampshades, trays, window and doors. Likewise, the province is known as the seafood capital of the Philippines and was among the top 15 most frequently visited places in the Philippines. Capiz is the site of the famous coral stone Santa Monica Church in the town of Panay, home to the largest Catholic church bell in Asia. The bell was made from 70 sacks of gold and silver coins donated by the townsfolk. Measuring 7 feet in diameter, 5 feet in height and weighing 10,400 kilograms or just over 10 metric tons, the Panay Bell is popular among tourists visiting Capiz. History The account of early Spanish explorers about Capiz and its people was traced back in the year 1566 when the Spaniards set foot in the mouth of Banica River. Early settlements were seen in the town of Panay which the town originally called Bamban, which was changed by the early Spaniards to Panay, a word which means mouth of the river. This is also the location of a fortress built by Juan de la Isla in late 1570. The Paseo de Evangelización 1566 can be found in the town plaza and was erected through the efforts of Rev. Monsignor. Benjamin F. Advincula. When the Spaniards led by Miguel López de Legazpi came to Panay from Cebu in 1569, they found people with tattoos, and so they called the island Isla de los Pantados. How the island itself came to be called Panay is uncertain. The AETA called it Ananape, after a plant that abounded in the island. Legend has it that López de Legazpi and his men, in search of food, exclaimed upon the island, Pan hay en esta isla. They established their first settlement on the island at the mouth of the Banica River and called it Pan I. This was the second Spanish settlement in the Philippines, following San Miguel, Cebu. Unknown to many, Calle Revolución in Panay Town is the second oldest street in the Philippines after Calle Colón in Cebu City, Central Visayas. Later in 1569, Captain Diego de Ardida, who was sent by Legazpi, landed in the town of Panay and proclaimed it as the capital of the province. Later, the Spaniards moved the capital to its present site upon discovering the town of Capiz, not the province, and now Roxas City, which was near the sea and provided docking facilities. The province was created a separate encomienda and was later organized into a politico-military unit in 1716. The American takeover of the Philippines resulted in the establishment of a civil government in Capiz on April 15, 1901 by virtue of Act 115. In 1942, the province was occupied by Japanese troops and was later liberated by the joint Filipino and American troops with Kapanan guerrillas in 1945. Capiz and Aklan were united under one province until 25 April 1956, when President Ramon Magsaysay signed into Law Republic Act 1414 separating the two entities. Geography Capiz covers a total area of 2,594.64 square kilometers, 1,001.80 square miles, occupying the northeastern portion of Panay Island, and is one of the five provinces that compose the Western Visayas region. Mount Nangtud is the highest mountain in Capiz, with an elevation of 6,800 feet (2,073 meters), located in the Capiz Antique border. Other peaks are Mount Tigas 4,760 feet 1,451 meters, Mount Agudo 2,736 feet 834 meters. The province comprises 473 barangays, 16 municipalities and a city. Roxas City, the provincial capital, is only 45 minutes away by plane from Manila and is within the routes of major shipping lines. The Panay River used to be famous for the great number of crocodiles thriving there. Capiz is bounded by the Cebuyan Sea, the Panay, Loctugan and Ibison rivers. Administrative divisions 
Capiz comprises one city, Roxas, and 16 municipalities, further subdivided into 473 barangays, with two congressional districts. Demographics the population of Capiz in the 2015 census was 761,384 people, with a density of 290 inhabitants per square kilometer or 750 inhabitants per square mile. Inhabitants Historians and ethnologists narrowed down to three types of people known to have inhabited Capiz, ATIs, ATIS, popularly known as Negritos, Indonesian descendants of the Mundo tribe in central Panay, and the Malays. Sulad tribe Located in Tapas, it is a cultural minority of Indonesian stock that worship spirits, practice secondary burial, and hunt with blowguns. The Sulad love personal ornaments. The necklace worn is not only an ornament and a status symbol but also an anting anting or amulet. Religion Roman Catholicism remains influential in the lives of most people living in Capiz especially in the fields of politics, education and even in their daily personal decisions. Roman Catholics are predominant with 70% adherents. The Aglipayan Church has a strong minority with 20%, while other minorities are born again Christians, Iglesia ni Cristo, Methodists, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, Baptists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and Seventh day Adventists, among others. Languages There are two main local languages, Kapanan and Hiligaynon. Filipino and English are also used and understood as the business languages and are widely spoken as second languages respectively. Aklanon is spoken in towns near Aklan such as Sapien, Jamindan, and Mambaseo. Kapanan is concentrated in the province of Capiz in the northeast of Panay. It is a member of the Visayan language family and the people using it are part of the wider Visayan ethnolinguistic group, who constitute the largest Filipino ethnolinguistic group. It is related but often confused with Hiligaynon, Ilongo, yet it has its own unique vocabulary and accent, as well as a handful of words unique to the language itself. Economy With its 80-kilometer coastline and wide expanse of swampy lands easily converted into fishponds, Capiz is dubbed as the seafood capital of the Philippines. It holds one of the richest fishing grounds and is a major contributor in the aquamarine industry of the Philippines. Farming and fishing are the primary sources of income for the people. The combined natural bounty of land and sea sustain a vibrant food industry. Primary agricultural raw products are rice, corn, coconut, sugarcane, banana and cut flour. Apart from a surplus of agricultural products, Capiz is also a major supplier of prawn and milkfish bangus. Other agro-industrial harvests include blue marlin, squid, oysters, shrimp, seaweed, and angel wings. Rich fish ponds attract investors to venture into prawn culture, prawn feed manufacture, seaweed farming and the distribution and processing of other marine products. A robust workforce of 445,246 operates with a literacy rate of 92.04%. Its relatively unexplored caves are said to have high deposits of mineral resources such as limestone, gold and metal. Telecommunications Four big telecommunication companies offer telegraph, telex and telephone services. Communication facilities are catered by the Philippine Long Distance and Telephone Company PLDT, Bureau of Telecommunications, Butel, PT&T, RCPI Bayontel, Globelines Ilacom and Cellular Phone Companies, Smart, Globe, Touch Mobile and Sun Cellular. Internet services are also available like PLDT Vibe. Broadcast Communications Broadcast Media is catered by four radio stations namely, AM, DYJJ, DYOW, Bombo Radio, DYVR, Radio Agong, RMN, FM, Star FM, Love Radio, and Radio Toto. Television facilities reach the city through Iloilo. However, we have 2-2 cable television provided by Westfardel Cable Services and the Philvision, Inc. Altosable. An ABS-CBN television relay station is now operating in the city. 
Banks There are more than 60 banking institutions and 116 intermediaries operating in the province. Capiz products Some popular Capiz shell chips decorating design include gift items, indoor decoration and outdoor decoration ornaments. Capiz chip made products range from lanterns, lamp shades, window pane, chandeliers, curtains, picture panels and frames, Capiz shell balls, plates, decorative bowls, candle holders, tiles, flower vase, door hanging chime, soap dish, pendant, globe light, necklace decor, beads, bird cage, floor lamp holders, faux chandelier, gift boxes, collection item rack and many more. Bullet or dried fish is a major product. There are several varieties of dried fishes that can be found in Capiz. Business Process Outsourcing The province has currently one non-voice outsourcing company, Petra Academy. Petra Academy serves Korean nationals for an online English tutorial. The company is located in 3, FJCTIU Building, Corner Burgos Street and Inzo Arnaldo, Roxas City. Pueblo de Panay Township has allotted 7 hectares for Pueblo de Panay Technopark. The PEZA-approved Technopark will house international and national BPO companies soon. Culture Capiz is known for its trademark product, the brilliant Capiz shell, used in windows, lanterns, decorations, vases, etc. The Capiz shell has a luster similar to mother of pearl shells. Him the province has an official hymn, O, oh, Capiz, written in Kapanen by Charmaine Akbenya Gortero and adopted on June 23, 2006. Folk dances Capiz is one of the places in the Philippines that contributed a lot in Philippine folk dancing. The province alone has 19 Visayan folk dances such as Tinolabong, Gayong Gayong, Timawa, Dajit Dajit, Veneracion, Tate Maroy Carinoza, Pakol, Habanera Capuchenya, Kabatingan, Saad, Pitik Minga, Karatsa Capuchenya, and Palomita Kakitana, to name a few. Festivals SAOT Capiz, a cultural presentation, the first Capiz dance season held every Saturday at the Capiz Provincial Park, Roxas City. Sanadia Sa Halloran, is a merging of the Roxas City Fiesta, Sanadia, and the province celebration of Halloran. Sanadia Sa Halloran, is a commemoration of the feast of the patroness of Roxas City which is the Immaculate Conception and a Thanksgiving. It literally means, joy and sharing and thanksgiving. Rituals and festivities include fireworks, grand parades, fluvial processions, fair and food festivals, street dancing, and exhibits. Pangaha Festival, a thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest by the indigenous peoples of Jamindan. Gayam Gayuman Festival. Kagiyuman. The old name of Pontevedra, meaning anthill, a name distinct for Ant's House was once a part of the municipality of Pan I mainly because of its abundant natural resources both from the coastal and upland areas. People from the nearby municipalities of Panay, Panatan, Mayan and President Roxas, would thrive in the marketplace like swarm of ants for trading. This rich tradition is now a celebration of life and thanksgiving for all Kagiyamanans. Talahong Festival, Talaba and Taong is very rich in production in these areas. More than a hundred fisherfolk live along the coast. Since Sapien is abundant with seafoods, it was the initiative of the local government unit to organize a Talahong Festival, Talaba Taong, every second Friday and second Saturday of May that promotes the local products. Taguan Festival, it was conceptualized during the pre-Spanish time, wherein there were Aetis in the upland barangay. Transportation Air Roxas Airport is an airport serving the general area of Roxas City, the provincial capital. The airport is classified as a Class I principal airport, by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Roxas Airport has three flights daily and four flights on selected days courtesy of Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific and Tiger Air Philippines. Land The primary transportation vehicle used in Roxas City and other municipalities in Capiz is the tricycle. Travel between municipalities is typically by jeepney, vans and series-operated buses. Capiz Cab, the city's taxi that plies Roxas City and the 16 municipalities of the Capiz. Capiz cabs are the first receipt issuing taxis in the Philippines apart from those operating out of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. C. 
Inter and provincial mobility of residents and their cargo is serviced by vans, buses and jeepneys. Sea transportation cargo vessel is served by Moreta lines plying the route of Roxas to Manila. Roll on roll off R -O -R -O, are served by 2 2 shipping companies, namely Super Shuttle Roro 2 and 2 GO, to fetch passengers from Roxas City to Batangas City via Odiangan, Rimblan. Inter island shipping is also served from Roxas City to the following locations such as Balat, Masbate, Mandayan, Masbate, Cebuyan Island, Rimblan, Cadiz, Negros Occidental, Guimaras Island, and Estancia, Iloilo. Notable people This list includes people with roots from Capiz. Politics Jocelyn Bolant, politician who formerly served as an Under-Secretary of the Department of Agriculture of the Philippines. Pedro Gil, was a physician, journalist, and legislator. He was elected representative for the South District of Manila on the Democratra Party ticket. He became minority floor leader in the House of Representatives of the Philippines. Manuel Roxas, first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines. Gerardo Roxas, Philippine senator and son of President Manuel Roxas. Manuel Roxas II, Philippine Senator, grandson of President Manuel Roxas and former Department of Interior and Local Government Philippines Secretary. Gerardo Roxas Jr., grandson of President Manuel Roxas and former Congressman Roy Seniors, Filipino statesman and diplomat Antonio Trillanes, a retired Navy officer currently serving as a Senator of the Philippines. Her mother is from Ivasan, Capiz. Sports Jexter Apinan, a professional basketball player Mac Bello, basketball player. A son of a Kapanan from Panay, Capiz who migrated to Cotabato. Jose Maxian, World Boxing Council WBC, champion in the Super Featherweight International Youth Glenn Peter Yap, shooting forward and number 8 overall pick of Alaska Aces in the 2000 Philippine Basketball Association PBA annual draft. Entertainment Gina Alajar, actress and director. She was born in Lanet, Roxas City, Capiz. Charlie DeVoe, actor, he was born to Estrella Valdez of Capiz. Ricky DeVoe, actor and director. Bing DeVoe, actor. Ryan Eigenman, actor and son of Gina Alajar. Jeff Eigenman, actor, brother of Ryan Eigenman, son of Gina Alajar. Daisy Avalana, actress and theater director. Barbie Almabis Hanazan, singer, former frontman of Hungry Young Poets and Barbie's Cradle. Maria Margarita Moran Roxas, Florendo, B flat. Pilipinas Universe 1973, Miss Universe 1973 winner. A granddaughter of former Philippine President Manuel Roxas, she has also been known as Margie Moran Roxas and later as Margie Moran Roxas de Florendo or simply Margie Moran. She was the last Philippine representative to the Miss Universe pageant to bring home the crown until Pia Alonso Wurtzbach 42 years later in 2015. Geraldine Villaruz ASI's B flat. Pilipinas Universe 1987, Miss Universe 1987 finalist. Charmaine Arnaz was born Sharmila Velasco Privdas Shahani to an Indian father and a mother from Legaspi Street, Roxas City. She has a younger sister who is also an actress named Bunny Paris and their mother is the sister of the mother of Patrick Garcia and Cheska Garcia. Yuvita Fuentes, dubbed the First Lady of Philippine Music. The first female recipient of the National Artist Award. Media Paolo Badiones is a Filipino commercial model, television host, journalist, newscaster and radio announcer. Kara David, television host and journalist whose grandmother is a Kapanen. Medicine 
Vicky Bello, well-known dermatologist, daughter of Enrique Ike Bello of Pan I Capiz. Social sciences Josefa Abertas, feminist and lawyer, was born and raised in Capiz. See also Capanan people Capanan language Sulutnan people Igbauk language References External links Media related to Capiz at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Capiz at OpenStreetMap Capiz Provincial Government Website Philippine Standard Geographic Code Capiz News